and welcome back to my channel and I'm back at it again with more online class content but this video is actually gonna be a little bit well a lot different yeah, a lot different than what I normally would post when it comes to online class content today I have quite a lot of things to do and get done so basically I'm gonna have a productive day it's also final season for me so I need to be productive and get things done usually in my online class videos I normally don't do much but it's gonna be different this time I wanted to take you guys along with me to show you guys what I would do to be productive and share with you guys some tips as well on how you could stay productive and be productive during online class and I know many of us feel unproductive less motivated more stressed and more pressured during online class and I could totally totally relate I feel you guys 100% but I hope in some way this video and the tips I'm about to share with you guys will help you guys somehow you'll find it useful or maybe at least motivate you guys to do something in your day to be productive and feel productive so yeah let's get started so really for me first thing I do is I tend to my puppy she just gives me so much love in the morning so much happiness and it's always good to start your day off with positivity Hi, this could also apply to maybe doing a hobby in the morning like for all my plantitas plantitos out there you guys can go plant your plants first thing in the morning i know you guys find joy in that you know it's really up to us to how we start our morning so there's that but what i feel like really really sets off my day and starts my day is doing some yoga in the morning i just find that yoga makes me feel so relieved and less stressed throughout the day and that's already such a good start to my day because then I could do so much more and I could be so much more productive if I don't feel so tense and if I don't feel so stressed I mean yoga has proven to soothe the mind and lower stress levels so and there you go my next tip for you guys is to make a to-do list i just find that writing a to-do list keeps me on track and it also kind of forms a structure or a schedule of my day because obviously with a to-do list i already have an estimate of how long um, i'm gonna do each task so i'm able to just know and see all of the tasks i need to get done today and also know how long it would take for me to complete them and to be honest it just gives you like a sense of satisfaction once you like tick off all of your to-dos so i really recommend that you guys make a to-do list so that you could lay out your day it just keeps you on track and it really just helps you really accomplish these tasks because you're constantly having to see it and at the back of your mind you're thinking oh i have to do this thing and finish it today um so now i have class in literally a few minutes but i want to give you guys a next tip before i proceed to my class and that is to have a clean space because i feel like if you have a clean space and a clean area you're able to do more and you don't feel so overwhelmed and feel so from congested an area more it doesn't feel messy so naturally if you don't have like an, a messy space you also your mind isn't all messy as well and you don't get so distracted easily and mas maging productive ka talaga when you have a clean space and also during online class guys focus remove all possible distractions especially if you're in a synchronous meeting and your teacher or prof is taking the time to meet with you and they thoroughly teach the topic and their subject because not every prof does that don't get distracted guys you guys should concentrate and really focus on your online class hey guys 
guys so i just finished my class and now i'm gonna give myself a break because this class was about two hours long and i just feel like i just need to rest i feel tired so i'm gonna give myself a break and that's my next tip for you guys if you guys feel tired give yourself a break and rest it's so important that you do because i find that if i push myself too much i will feel pressured and feel overwhelmed and end up not doing it or all of my outputs are less than mediocre even though i know i could have done better so just give yourself a break but just keep in mind not to give yourself too long of a break because i feel like giving yourself like hours and hours of a break also kind of sets you in the mood to just relax the whole day so ending you just want to relax the whole day and then you don't actually accomplish anything for the day so give yourself a break but just give yourself enough time and not too much time but not too little of a time as well So I'm back from my break. I am now gonna do some school works and here comes my next tip for you guys in order to be productive when it comes time to doing school work. Again, just like taking your online class and joining your synchronous meeting, you guys should focus and concentrate. Um, take away all of your distractions. Like I said, anything that could possibly distract you, take it all away again. And my next tip for when you're doing school work, which I feel like totally helps, is being able to distinguish where you're gonna study and focus and do work and where you're gonna relax. So I would do work on my table and on my desk where I usually would take online classes and do any school works or anything that I need to get done. It's already established in me that this is where my productivity begins and starts as compared to if I worked on the bed. It's so dangerous to do your work in your bed because obviously it's a distinct area to relax and to sleep. When you do your work on your bed, you're just kind of just want to sleep instead of actually doing work so i think it's just so important to distinguish and separate where you're gonna work and where you're gonna sleep and relax and before i actually start doing work i want to give you guys my last tip try not to pressure yourself too much i know that sometimes pressure could work in others but also there are people who when they feel pressured they end up just not doing anything at all so i used to be the type of person that when i get pressured i tend to work more i just feel obligated to give more and do more because i wanted to do so many things you know and i have so many responsibilities but uh, during online class no if i feel pressured i'm just like whatever na. and i used to not be like that but with online class that's how i've been thinking and <laughs> it is what it is so i just try not to pressure myself too much and i suggest that you guys do the same don't compare your progress to others that you saw now now your classmates were able to finish these tasks on time or they were able to um, pass everything way ahead of you. Online class promotes flexible learning naman din, so we could literally work at our own pace. Obviously, not to say to completely ignore your work, just make sure that whatever workload you have for the day, it's just enough for you and it's not too much to handle to the point that you're way too pressured and then you end up not doing it. So try not to pressure yourself too much. So you don't feel overwhelmed and you don't feel so stressed. So, ayan, now I'm gonna work.
Hey guys, so I actually just finished everything that I needed to get done for today. It's already night. I'm about to shower. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Keep in mind that being productive doesn't necessarily mean doing everything all at once and getting it done all in one day. And I know we all have those days where we feel super unproductive, super unmotivated, especially now with online class. And that's completely okay. I feel you guys. I'm with you. Just don't pressure yourself too much. If you want to be productive all day, then feel free to do so. But if you also want to just lay down all day and do absolutely nothing, then feel free to do so. Just do what you guys think is best for you and your mental health. But I really hope you guys found these tips useful or at least motivated you somehow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!